This patient presented one year following a trabeculectomy with mitomycin with hypotony that was getting progressively worse along with a progressive cataract. So after performing cataract surgery, it was then time to do something about the overfiltration. In this case, you could see a few little blisters near the limbus where the fluid was really leaking out of, and the bleb is fairly high and but quite diffuse. This is a tano suture going right through the conjunctiva into the scleral flap and then out the other side. This has been well described in the literature. And then tying the suture just in the usual fashion with three throws and then one more and then one more after that to provide a very tight closure. And what's hard to believe but true is that this suture works its way through the conjunctiva which heals on top of it and when you see the patient in follow-up visits uh, within a few weeks the suture is actually buried under the conjunctiva with a closed scleral flap. I had this patient whose pressure was around the four mark with folds in her choroid was seen in follow-up a week later back in northern BC where she lives and noted to have a pressure of 23. I actually got a slightly panicked call from the optometrist who was seeing her saying there's a crease in this patient's bleb. So I was able to call him to reassure that uh, this was the intention. So this can work very well. You have to be really careful though. If it's completely avascular, then you could just end up tearing the bleb. But in this case, it seems to be working fine, at least a few weeks out now.